which NFL teams are making the playoffs and who's staying home. It's who's in, who's out on 97.3 ESPN FM, South Jersey's football station. All right, Sports Bash Live inside the Matt Black Kia Studios. Mike, John, and Scott. Pete is out. Now, Pete was supposed to send me his who's in, who's out. I never got them. So he's just going to say at the end of the year, see, I knew all the teams that were making the playoffs. That sounds like something PT would do. (laughs) Uh, Who's in, who's out. These are the 12 teams we think will make the NFL playoffs. And uh, right now, you have a lot of things still up in the air. You know, normally it starts to get a little bit more crystal clear by this late in the season after Thanksgiving. But both conferences, John, have a plethora of teams that are still somewhat in the mix. Yeah, and that, hey, that's the NFL likes that. If you look on the AFC side of the ledger, Miami, if the if if the season ended today, would be in the playoffs. Not Denver, not Pittsburgh, teams like that. So hey, that's what the NFL wants, and they want everybody to have a little bit of hope. All right, let's look at the East. The Patriots nine and two. Miami has won six in a row. They're two games behind the pace, and Buffalo is six and five. We've got the Patriots. They haven't moved all season long. No. Uh, The AFC East is their birthright, and they will take it again. Uh, In the north, it's 6-5 Baltimore and and 6-5 Pittsburgh. Everybody else out of the mix. Uh, I'm going Pittsburgh this week. They've won two in a row. I am also going Pittsburgh. They're going in the right direction. Baltimore actually has the advantage right now. They beat Pittsburgh 4-0 in the division. I just think... Steelers are a better football team. They'll find it. They'll find a way down the stretch. That's a team the Eagles handled pretty well, by the way. Uh, AFC South, six and five Houston, six and six Tennessee, five and six Indianapolis. John McMullen. Boy, I I I, I don't want to take any of them. <laughs> I don't want to take any of them. What was uh, the last time the Houston Texans have lost a division game? It, it's it's been a long time, and Indianapolis had that long run where they didn't lose the divisional game. Uh, Right now, I'm going with Houston. Uh, For what reason? I don't know. They have the best defense. I, I, for all year, I've been saying I I hate taking Brock Osweiler, but the other two teams are just too flawed to, to change. I've gone with Houston all of last year and all of this year until right now. Marcus Mariota is playing the best quarterback in that division, and they got the running game. I think late in December, the quarterback in the run game wins Tennessee that division. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. They're the only team, I think, with a plus point differential. Yes, they're plus 12. Houston's a minus 42. But uh, (laughs) that's amazing. Uh, Minus 42, one game over, 500. But uh, I, I think Houston's defense will find a way. I still think it's a learning curve. I think Tennessee's set up for the future. Maybe this is uh, sort of a learning year to get to that next step. Uh, in the West, nine and two Oakland, eight and three Kansas City, seven and four Denver. Long shot, five and six San Diego. Uh, I'm sticking with Kansas City. They had the ugly loss against Tampa, who then beat Seattle, but then they went on the road to beat Denver. So Kansas City, I'm sticking with them at at the uh, eight and three. So am I. I had him last week as well, even though Oakland is in front right now. Raiders, hey, they're very impressive. They're going to be in the playoffs, but they're one of my wild card teams. I just think Kansas City's more well-rounded. And now that Justin Houston's back, look out. I like that Kansas City Chief team. I get mocked for it all the time, but they're winning that division. I've got Oakland, and I'm going to stick with Denver, but that one is starting to get a little flimsy. It is. And one of the reasons why is you start playing those divisional games, and you saw it. Kansas City beating Denver in overtime. They're one and three in the division, by the way. Uh, yeah, and and right now Miami would be that six seed, but I can't pick Ryan Tannehill over the defending Super over Bowl over Trevor champion. Simeon. Hey, Trevor Simeon played well. He did, but it's Fourth not like quarter. you're telling me I got I can't take Ryan Tannehill over Peyton Manning. That's no, one thing. it's not that, but I'm not taking Ryan Tannehill. Over Vaughn Miller. How about that? All right. Better stated. Uh, so who's you got Denver and Oakland? Denver, Denver and Oakland. All right. Let's go to the NFC. Uh, Dallas in the East. Yeah. 
uh, 10 and 1. It's not a slam dunk as everybody sees. Because the Giants are the only team that beat them. Yes. But if you see the last five games on the Giants' yeah. schedule, it's a feat accomplished. Dallas wins that division. Dallas in the East. Uh, I think I agree with you. I think the Packers win the North. Yeah, Packers are going to win it. Uh, it's set it was up. Like a turning point for them last night. Week 17 at Detroit. It is in Detroit, so that trends well in the Lions' direction, but. The Packers have tortured the Lions over the years. They're going to find a way to win that division. It's amazing. Well, the way Aaron Rodgers played last night, I mean, it was almost like he said, we are not losing this game, and we are not losing any other games. By the way, and and he's been playing that way for a while. Coming into that game. the defense played well last night. Yeah, the defense has been the problem. They gave up 153 points over the prior four games coming in. Rodgers has been off the charts for over a month. They're going to win that division. I got Tampa in the South because someone's going to win that division. It just won't you be just the can't Falcons. Pick the Atlanta Falcons. I won't do it. I, I like Matt Ryan. I, I think he's very underrated. Uh, I'm sticking in Atlanta, but Tampa Bay, eh, they might get some love from me. When do those two teams play again? I don't Probably know. The last two week, one of the last two yeah. weeks of the season, right? Tampa Bay, six and five. New Orleans, five and six. And Carolina, oh, I thought Carolina, I picked them last week. I thought they would run it. They almost they, came back. Oh, I thought they were going to do it. All that right. would have been a big one. In that the West been a big win. is Seattle. I mean, they were all that of a sudden. That was a bad loss. Oh, what happened? They scored five points. They've won a game with six. That they tied a game with line. six, and they lost a the game with five. Oh, that offensive line. But no no challengers in that division. Uh, but they can forget about Dallas uh, in the number one seed. Now it's just trying to hold off whether it's Detroit or Atlanta for the number two seed. And I think they will. But that offensive line will be their death net. All right, here's your options. The current wild card is New York and Washington. You've got those two, Philadelphia, Minnesota. In our case, it would be Detroit. Tampa Bay for you, Atlanta for me. New Orleans. I'm going... I think the Giants have enough in the bank to hold on. I don't think they're going to do well down the stretch, but two wins gets them in. Can they get to two? Uh, I don't know. I'm saying they are for now. My second wildcard team, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. There we go. Wow. Uh, I'm going New York because I think they'll get two. Which two? Because I'm I'm struggling to get them two. Ah. Got to be Philadelphia. It's got to be one of them. At Philly. Can they beat the Eagles? They win the Giants game at home? Lions? At, at home? I mean the Lions? I the Lions know. in Philly. The Lions in the Redskins. Yeah, I'll tell you what. They're only going to be favored in one of those games. And it's the Lions at home. That's the only I mean, they game. Play, this is the Giants' last five. For those of you out there who are saying, well, why are you discounting them? At Pittsburgh. Home against Dallas. Who they did beat on the road. Home against not the Lions. Not going to be favored in that game. Though. Home against the Lions at Philly at Washington. I mean, there's not a game that you're like, this one jumps out that they got to win. They got to get two of those. They got to get agree. two, and I think they can beat the Lions at home, and they'll probably beat one of the, the Eagles or Redskins. If they'll one be favored of them, against the Eagles, no? No. Not at home. Not Eagles are at home. Yeah. What if the Eagles have lost now? Now, if they lose, if they totally fall off yeah. the – it's possible, but today, no way are they. Let favoring me check that Atlanta's game. schedule real fast to see if they can sell me real fast. Atlanta's gonna because I have New York and Washington listed. Let me see what what happens here when I pull up this schedule. You know you're not gonna pick it. Uh, they play the Chiefs. That's a loss. At the Rams. That's a. Win. They travel across the country, and that Rams team always is seems. Jeff Fisher still coaching? No, that's Eric Dickerson win. is. That's a win. Forty Niners. That's a win. Uh, well, at 49ers. At so. the Panthers. At the, uh, They don't play Tampa. Oh, they, their two go. division games are Panthers and Saints. That's uh, a that division winner. Things. Division winner. 